it's time. It's finally the time. It's finally time for a new king on the throne. Today we are going to have a deeper look at the new Be Quiet Silent Wing Pro 4 in 120mm form factor. And yes, I do know that I released a video like 24 hours ago where I said that I didn't have enough of, of those to create one of the dedicated reviews, which was true at the time, but once I got home, Guess what was just sitting at my doorstep? A freaking truckload of those. So yeah, a, a ride back to the studio and a few night sessions later, let's take a quick look at what Be Quiet's new and best fans have to offer. As we already talked about yesterday essentially, there are a few different versions of these new Sandwing 4s. There are the versions that nobody should ever talk about, a 120mm PVM, a 120mm PVM high speed, and those Be Quiet Sandwing Pro 4s, which are the topic of today's video. At this point, already a small question, uh, why is it Silent Wing Pro 4 and why not Silent Wing 4 Pro? A, it's not the fourth iteration of the Pro line, it's the Pro line of the fourth iteration, and B, it, it looks like crap in a list. Like, this annoys me way more than it actually should. The new Pro 4s are coming in pretty much the exact same package as every other Be Quiet fan I have ever seen until now. Some fancy schmancy imagery and the usual all black thing. Inside we will find the fan itself wrapped in its own little box and a additional accessories box. Contrary to every other version of the Silent Wing 4 fans, the Pros are the only ones that come with that new radiator optimized edge pieces attached to each corner. To make it short, every other corner piece that Be Quiet ever offered, and especially on older models, were creating kind of a gap on each edge of the fan. Now in case fan use cases, this gap could pretty much be ignored. Inside a like, good case, there will always be gaps all over the place, and due to there being no restriction behind the fan, the air doesn't have any like incentive to jump back through one of the gaps. For heat sinks and radiators, however, a portion of the air might be jumping back because it's, it's essentially the easiest way out compared to the radiator sitting behind it. And Be Quiet was not the only manufacturer facing this issue. Take Aliasi as a prime example, like their X12 fans on top of the X240 Extreme AIO had such a huge issue with that escaping air that like the majority was just going away. And those new corners that come pre-attached on each Silent Wing Pro 4, 4 Pro makes so much more sense, are preventing exactly that. With those there is no space for the air to escape and on for example a radiator the whole thing is covered leaving no air in any other way than right through the radiator. Ignoring the obvious efficiency benefits that this creates, these corners are also making the fan extremely rigid. But it's not only the corners. All in all, the Silent Ring 4s have made quite the leap when it comes to overall quality. Although the previous Silent Ring 3s were already pretty well made, those new ones seem to be yeah, kind of in indestructible. And while we are on the topic of indestructible things, my new favorite PVM connector. In contrast to all of the PVM connectors we have seen until now, the Pro 4s are coming with an all new lengthened 50 cm long fabric sleeve 4 pin PVM connection straight out of heaven. I already said it in yesterday's video, but I, I love this damn thing. It, it feels so much better when disconnecting it, no more feeling of wiggleness, no more fear of ripping out the cable, no more trying to squeeze my sausage fingers against the motherboard so hard just to be able to touch the connector at least for a millimeter. Nothing, just peak perfection. Wow, that was a bit weird, but let's try to find a way back to those edge pieces. Inside the box of accessories, we will find the other two types of mounting mechanics that Be Quiet offers. We got the usual screw in a screw and create your own thread approach, and the anti-vibration mounting using those clip-in sticks. To exchange them, we just need to press in two clips on each edge and pull which is quite the change compared to the press the screwdriver in and miss it and hit your bolts approach that previous Silent Wings had. Now in theory, Be Quiet recommends to use the clip-in system for case fan use cases as they are like supposed to further reduce vibrations, but as I am particularly drawn to the I am indestructible look with the radiator edges, I will just happily 
use the holes that are in there because they are similarly sized to screw, normal fan screw holes, because it works perfectly fine, they will create their own thread. As the last important point of the discussion, we still have that speed dial. By default, it comes in M mode or mid speed mode. This will limit the fan's max speed to 1600 rpm. The central HS or high speed mode will unlock this to 2500 rpm and the UHS or ultra high speed will unlock the fan's true potential at 3000 rpm. Please just put it in UHS mode and just use a PVM curve, please just do that. Why else would you buy a fan strong enough to grind your hand? In this UHS mode, the Silent Wing Pro 4s are capable of pushing around 84 CFM at 5.31 mm of H2O. So these behemoths here are right up there with Fantex T30s and Nokia's NFA 12X25. So let's begin the battle. While setting every fan spin at 100% of its max speed in our kind of a case benchmark, the Silent Wing Pro 4s 120 managed to keep the CPU at 40 degrees C above ambient, staying a degree behind the Noxia NFA 12X25s and 4 degrees behind the Fantex T30, which is a very interesting result considering that those fancy fans are spinning at crazy 3000 rpm. But let's take the noise into consideration. Here we were able to observe that the Silent Wing 4's main advantage really is its efficiency. If we compare them to the previous Silent Wing 3s in high speed, we can see that those new ones made a big jump forward, bringing Be Quiet's best fan a lot closer to the number one spot. But the most interesting part is if you compare them to the top line. Let's take a Fantex T30. While the T30 was a bit ahead on the top speed, it did manage to keep on going for a lot longer, but at the cost of noise. But once you lower the fan speed, the Pro Force efficiency starts to kick in and they took over, making the gap bigger and bigger the slower the fans were spinning. And what's more surprising is that the Pro Force are the second fan next to Nokia's industrial line, which managed to keep the CPU from thermal throttling while spinning at only 25% of their speed. And funnily enough, Thanks to that, they even managed to get ahead of the Nokia NF-A12X25. So from a case fan perspective, for now, it still looks like NF-A12X25s, then Silent Ring Pro 4s, and then the Fantex D30. However, especially the Pro models were tailor-made for radiator usages, so let's compare that. Mounted on top of an Arctic Liquid Freezer 120, whose pump is crippled down to 50%, the noise to performance ratio is about to change. Here we were able to observe the same ph ph phenomenon. Here we were able to observe the same phenomenon at lower speeds where the Pro 4s are creating a gap to other fans which is then becoming smaller and smaller until it morphs together with the Fantex T30 once you crank up the speed. And although the Silent Wing 4 Pros are about a degree behind the T30 in max performance, their noise to performance ratio becomes substantially better once you turn the speed down. So, where does the performance part leave us? Well, in my opinion, Be Quiet really nailed it with these fans. As case fans, they scored second place behind the Noctia NFA-12X25s, while it's even beating them at extremely low speeds. For radiators, it's actually the new Silent Ring Pro 4s, which seem to be the overall best choice. So, very, very good fan, both performance, but especially noise 2 performance wise. It really seems like the fan blade design changes that Be Quiet made going from a Silent Wing 3 to a 4 had a huge positive impact and made their fan jump up the ladder and start competing and even beating partially the very best. From a design standpoint, I am really going for this. I love the all black design, especially paired with a matte black finish in, in the centerpiece and I absolutely do not miss the orange quiet text which was previously the case. Everything looks extremely clean, very very high quality and overall just good, but you will have to decide that for yourself. Okay, so this should be it for Be Quiet and the new Silent Wing Pro 4. It really should be Silent Wing 4 Pro. This doesn't make a lot of sense. Anyway, a huge thank you to Be Quiet for sending this over and you can bet that we will go over every single version of this lineup because they are sitting there, they are waiting to be covered, we will do that. But until then, have a look at the Lightwings. They might not be as high performance as those are, but they have RGB. 
On a side note, we now also have channel memberships, so if you're looking for a good way to sell your soul for an RG poop emoji, that's a pretty good way to go. Additionally, you can rest assured that the income will not only keep the channel afloat, but it will also serve to buy some sort of like frame to hook up all of our Be Quiet Silent Ring 4s and make them all spin at max speed, making the earth rotate a bit faster, because, you know, Friday isn't coming quick enough. Anyway, thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.